Roger Nangalan, what are, you, are you puffing something over there? Are we getting a flashback? Roger Nangalan, what's going on, dude? There once was a flashback, Nangolan with a four-star skill upgrade, that's fun. His FIFA 18 Tots card was great, but they should have done it for FIFA 17. Oh, when the Raja Man comes, he's gonna nine goals, that's what he does. Oh, when the Raja Man comes, is he worth doing when there's free Morella? You know me, Zappi. Before we go any further, can we just congratulate Luis Suarez and Atletico Madrid? The way that Barcelona let an absolute legend like Luis Suarez leave for seven million, seven mil. And then he goes ahead and he gets the game-winning goal for Atletico Madrid that gives them the title. That's just, I mean... Even if you're a Madrid or Barcelona supporter, I feel like you could just appreciate that. Luis Suarez appreciation intro. What's up, boys, and welcome to the 93 Team of the Season Flashback Raja Nangolan, aka Raja Nangolan, Episodia. That is right, today being Saturday, we get ourselves a very, very spicy little flashback card in the form of a 275,000 coin Raja Nangolan, upgraded from a 3-star skill move to 4-star skill move. Uh, still has his 3-star weak foot, would have been nice, obviously, maybe getting a 4-star, four 4-star four combo, uh, but we will take the 4 stars skill moves and like I said 275,000 coins if you compare them to the likes of Frank Yannick Kessi that's coming in around 800,000 coins Nico Barella for example uh, obviously a free card if you put the shadow chem style his pace and defending go up into the 90s so he becomes a team of the season Goretzka member where all of his cards where all of his face stats are in uh, are in the 90s and like I said looks like an absolutely absolutely delicious little card uh, and then some of the SBC slots require that you do some Roma stuff some inter stuff obviously two clubs that he spent some time at uh, and now he is at Cagliari uh, so he doesn't get the links into uh, doesn't get the links into his former teammates anymore, but does get Belgian links and does get Serie A links. So he's got the second most total in-game stats, and this was actually kind of surprising. I thought he would have easily had the most total in-game stats, but if you compare him to a Frank Yannick Kessi, he does compare uh, very favorably. Yannick Kessi has 2,592 total in-game stats, and then this Raja Nangalan comes in at 2,577. Then Nico Barea, for example, also comes in at 2,554. So these are all guys that are in the 2,500 club. These are end-game cards. Ridiculous, ridiculous stats. Um, and I think if you compare him to other guys in his region, right, if you compare him to a Arturito Vidal, who obviously had five-star, four-star, not as fast, though, this, uh, the, the pace on the Nangolan is, uh, is much better. This Roger Nangolan, I think, is priced very, very fairly for where we're at in this stage in the game. 93, team of the season, uh, a flashback uh, Nangolan to, the, I believe, the inclusion in the FIFA 18 tots. But that's neither here nor there. You guys want to see what he looks like in game. You guys want my thoughts on the stats. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Smash like on the video for Roger Nangolan. Smash like on the video if you guys want me to continue wearing this shirt without washing it once throughout the entire duration of the Serie A tots. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So like I said, ridiculous stats on the face, uh, uh, ridiculous face card stats, four-star skill moves, has the... Uh, the high high work rate 59 Roger Nangola and all the things we love about him the dual 87 acceleration, 87 sprint speed with the shadow goes up to 97, 97. 95 attack and positioning, positioning with 97 shot power, 99 long shots. All the passing stats that you would want for days. Uh, the 83 curve leaves a little bit to be desired. It's one of the stats that I'm kind of nitpicky about. I kind of like a player with that has some curve on it. Dribbling stats, you don't need to touch those for a midfielder. 85 agility with 95 ball control, 94 dribbling. Defensive stats, everything goes up to pretty much 99 outside of uh, defensive awareness, which goes up to 93. And then 99 stamina with 83 strength strength and 98 aggression. Now, I wouldn't blame anyone for putting a I wouldn't blame anyone for putting a, a, an anchor on him to get that strength maximally to get that strength jacked off a little bit. The defending stats are good enough already and I think with the anchor, I feel like he'll be over 90 pace. Anchor might be the shot if you're looking to get a little bit of strength out, uh, out of him. So outside the foot shot trait obviously he has that as well. And because my coin uh my coin balance is so tough right now, I and because we, we did the Chucky Lozano, we did the Nangolan today, I can't actually afford any of the other boys, but it actually kind of works out well because we get to go back and we get to use an 87 Romelu Lukaku, who I absolutely loved all those months ago. The Edin Dzeko, obviously hearkening to his Roma days. And then, of course, like I said, we're going to be running Gennaro Gattuso in the midfield for every video that we do during the Serie A Tots. And we get another another chance to take a look at Chucky Lozano. But without any further ado, boys, let's get into match number one with arguably one of the best total in-game stat, one of the best overall, should be one of the, one of the best overall feeling... Uh, box to box midfielders, whatever you want to call them, in game, match number one, Vafanculo. What's, what's four star skill moves look on the lad? Man, like wrong? Oh, that? It's the finishing leg. That's the outside the foot shot. 
That's out. That's the outside of the foot shot from the Rajanangalan. Very good. Nice little attacking position. The first thing. Uh, the first thing that I'll say, Lukaku, relax, dude. Uh, the the first thing I'll say is um, feels very feels very slippery on the ball. Feels very good on the ball. God, this guy always freaks me out. I feel like I'm watching it. The, the guy reminds me of the actor that plays uh, that plays it. Nangolan. It's 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 the it's acceleration is mad. Body thing. Nice, nice. That's that's left hand log stick dribbling. Lukaku. Sí. Gattuso. Roger Engolan. La música la pone con tres en la defensa. Este es un parador balón. Not that. Checo. Edin Seco. Ha llegado. Le están dando un minuto de agregado al compromiso. Nice. Nice little dispossession from... Uh... Nice little dispossession from Roger Nangalan. Okay, so it's a 1-1 affair. Very, very close match. Uh, both of us are matched up fairly, fairly, uh, fairly evenly. If you're strapped for coins and you don't run a Serie A squad and you just want the best, you, you just want like a ridiculous op uh, Serie A option, I can't fault you for going Nico Barella, right? I mean, obviously, you know, depending on how, if you value your time, right? If, for some people, throwing the 275k worth of value into the, um, into the Roger Nangalan SPC is, is cheaper than the time grind, right? Um... But in some ways, the Nico Barella actually is a much, uh, I don't want to say a much better card. Nangolan's a little bit, I mean, Nangolan's a little bit more dynamic. Um, dribbling stats, Nico Barella's better. Uh, has, I believe, medium attacking work rates. Uh, Barella's more of like a CDM. I, I think Roger Nangolan is just a little, by nature, also having the four-star skill moves as well. Just a little bit more, a little bit more dynamic in that regard. But um, for some people, that's not, uh, for some people, that's not going to matter. Get the ball on feet, and then you're then you're just gone. You turn with him, and you pop, and then you're gone. Nice little bit of that. Nice little bit of that. Lukaku, Eden Dzeko. You come at from this angle with his finishing. Eden Dzeko is one of those guys that I absolutely love. You never have to worry about a thing. All right, here's Roger, Gana Roger Nangolan. Nice little... Uh, I still don't know what that skill move is called. There's Eden Dzeko. That's on. And like I just said, Eden Dzeko... Tried moving his keeper to the left, it doesn't matter, and Jekyll's gonna bang it in. Dahe Roma. Roger Nagala with the 99 shot power, man. I would say, and that's a rage quit. There's only one outcome, rage quit. Again, if there's one thing I noticed, I would say maybe consider using an anchor chem style. You might find that he feels a little bit, uh, you might find that he feels um, not as strong. Uh, three goals in the first match, doesn't get an assist, and then tackles one, gets himself one out of two, tackles one. Sometimes win, sometimes lose. Look, I have many difficult. Look, sir, Does Roger Bangal have no dribble? Oh no. What am I seeing? What am I seeing? Chucky Lozano picks up where he left off yesterday. That's just, that's all little, that's all left hand lug stick dribbling right there. Nice. See what I mean there? I feel like the, I feel like he, maybe he, maybe he is missing a little bit of strength. Maybe he does need the anchor chem style. Like, I feel like he should be blasting through that guy. Love that. It's Malakia. Uh, 100% Malakia. Lukaku. Este es Jeko. Roger Engolan. He's you want to know what you you want to know how I can describe Roger Nangalan best? He's all, he's like having a he's like having a striker as a as a midfielder. Does that make sense? He's the perfect card for a 4-4-2 formation. Roger Nangalan. Recibe Romelu Lukaku. Ya le está viendo, le está viendo, se viene una oportunidad. 
That's a, that's a nice little Raja Nangolan pop. That that's a that's a nice little Raja Nangolan pop. Not something necessarily I think that Nico Barella could pull off. Nico Barella has no traits to speak of. Raja Nangolan with a cheeky little finessey pop in that top right. Kind of like it. Kind of vaffanculo. And there he is. There's, there, there he is, winning a one-on-one. -on -one. Nice little ball control. He's got he's got four-star skill moves. Ready? Set. He's, got, he's got a nice little burba spin. He just effortlessly, effort, effortlessly controls the ball. Nice little, uh, nice little body feint. He's got, he's got a nice little burba spin. Again, it just goes back to this whole idea that you've got like a striker slash winger playing a crucial midfield role for you. And that right there shows that three star. Uh, that that right there exemplifies the fact that three star matters. I think you probably want him as the LCM if you're LCM if you're trying to crack finesses. See, the problem with a card like Nangolan is you, you get the ball on his feet and you feel like you can do something with it every time you touch the ball. Ahí la tiene Nangolan. Ready? Still has it. Another little body feint. Still has it. Close touch dribbling. Still has it. A 9.5 rating for Nangalan gets himself uh, gets himself two goals. And um, if there's one thing I'll say about the Raja Nangalan, I was actually surprised. Not weak, but how um, I, I was expecting him to be a little bit stronger in the midfield. And I would say maybe maybe that was the lack of using the anchor chem style if I'm keeping it a stack. Maybe, maybe it was the lack of... Uh, the anchor chem style that made it uh, that made it feel like he wasn't uh, that he wasn't super strong But here we obviously have a situation where he can use those four-star skill moves a little bit of a body feint And then a nice little uh, nice little finesse uh, nice little finesse pop there The only noticeable downside is he doesn't he doesn't seem to have that Conte-esque thing where he absorbs the ball defensively I felt like I had to try a little bit too hard on the defensive side to get balls back with him uh, when we did use him defensively um, And I think he's definitely more of a even though his defensive stats are nuts. I just don't understand I don't understand why he he felt like he wasn't that strong. 91 standing tackle. Maybe it's just me. Maybe maybe I had an off day. In terms of value, I'd go so far as to say four out of five. Again, there's a bunch of really really good options in the Serie A right now with team of the season cards. If you're looking for the cheap one, go with the uh, go with the Nico Barella. I'm not gonna downgrade Nigolens value uh, value because of the Barella. You could get both of them, uh, but I am gonna give it a four out of five in terms of value. Just instantly becomes one of the uh, one of the most dynamic. I think is the best word to use for Nigolens because he now does have himself the four star skill moves. You can do a little bit more fun stuff with him in terms of on the pitch performance i am going to give him a four out of five as well again the only thing that i noticed and again i have a hunch that maybe it has to do with me as a player uh was just not able to get the ball back convincingly enough defensively but attacking wise made every made most opportunities that we needed gets inside the box rips it with that 99 shot power uh, 99 lo um long shots 97 shot power and can really just uh it can really just shoot from anywhere on the pitch so yeah that's gonna do it for the episode here boys flashback raja nangolun as spencer fc would say it is always a Belgian. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, smash like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I'll catch you guys for a stream later tonight. The first 15 games of Weekend League. We'll catch you there in a few hours time after watching this video. Catch you guys for another one tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Update.